Hello everybody and welcome to my 113th VBA tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how you can uh, export something from your sheet to a HTML file. Uh, so it leads off the back of the previous tutorial where we created a text file uh, using this code. Um, and I just uh, split out the code up here and put it, put some notes on it uh, and renamed it as create HTML file. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just amend my file path to be uh, my website.html uh, and then the creating of the the object is the same uh, and the closing it down the same so it's just what we write in here is going to be different uh, and we want to do um, just put with my file because we're going to be using it a lot so end with uh, and so we want to create some of our tags now. So we want to do uh, dot right line. And we want to put in our HTML tag. And uh, let's keep adding these in. So let's do our end HTML tag. Let's do our head tags. And give it a title. And if you don't know how to use HTML, then uh, I'll put the link to my HTML tutorials uh, in the description. So this is just going to give us a title for our HTML. Uh, and notice it's literally, I'm just writing lines of code to um, lines of text that are as html so let's put in our title as my title uh, and then we could put in some body so let's go uh, body and body and then anything we put in here is going to be a html so i'm going to copy this table out so first of all, I want to put in some table tags. So let's put table and then forward slash table. Uh, and then we want to do our table rows and our table data. So our first, uh, I'm just going to get it, put a loop into the sheet. So that's dim counter as integer and counter equals one and do until this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells counter comma one dot value equals nothing so we're going to loop down until we've uh, hit the bottom of our data uh, and then i'm going to do counter equals counter plus one and then each time I want to be writing a new row of data. So we want to write line and then table row. And then we also want to do the end of the table row. And then in between the table row of uh, table rows, we want to go across the the sides uh, and do put in the table data. So I'm going to write line table data. And I'm going to do this all in one line. So slash table data, and then let's split it up. And we want to take the value from the sheet and put it in there. So let's do. Uh, this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells counter comma one dot value uh, and we'll put that in our table data and I'm going to copy and paste that and do it for column two as well uh, and so that is going to create 
our HTML. Uh, so it's going to create our head with our title. It's then going to create a body with a table in it uh, with the information from a spreadsheet. Um, and so let's just tidy that up. Um, and I'm actually going to put in some underscores here to just to make it fit onto the screen so you can see it all in one go. Okay. Um, and if you don't know what the underscore does, it just allows the same line of code to kind of coexist on the next line. Uh, just helps to tidy things up sometimes. So let's press play on this now uh, and then go to my desktop and you'll see I've got a my website HTML file uh, and when I open this up in Chrome uh, and you'll see it's created me a nice little table as such um, and obviously you can create more complex text files and you can put it at the, at the start that you want to add in some CSS or something to style it um, basically if you know HTML then this is going to be really powerful for you um, you kind of use almost use Excel to generate your web page files for you um, so have a play around with it if you've got any questions let me know um, if you come up with any genius uh, website creating spreadsheets let me know as well because I'd like to share them on the forum um, and thanks for listening I hope to catch you in the next tutorial